Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brie from With Love Brie, and today I thought I'd hop on and just do a random embellishment video. Um, I am working on some stuff with the Parasol collection, and one of my first, like, little embellishments, I think maybe, yeah, my first embellishments that I made with this collection are these envelopes. I worked on them last night until, like, 3-ish in the morning. I was just, like, kind of going through it, and I needed to craft, and... I honestly wanted to stay up longer, but I had to feed my baby to sleep again, so um, I ended up just going to bed. But this is the dye that I used, and unfortunately, since Tuesday morning is not around anymore, at least hours finally closed, um, this dye is obviously from there, but it is available from what I've seen on Amazon. So I have the um, link to this on my Amazon storefront. If you guys want to go in the description box, you guys can go ahead and grab the die. However, it is not $12.99 on Amazon. It is $19.99. So you might be able to find it somewhere else that's cheaper. But um, I did see that on Amazon it is available. And so for your convenience, I just posted it on my um, metal dies list on there. So if you guys are interested in that, you guys can go ahead and grab it. I absolutely actually love this die. I was a little um, skeptical on getting this die because I was like, mm, you have enough of like the envelopes that you don't need anymore. But I'm really glad I grabbed it because um, I used it to make these embellishments and they turned out so cute. So let me go ahead and just share with you guys um, a couple that I'm going to put together today. I've already made eight and I just figured why not make 10 of them so you guys can see my process. Um, I did die cut these flowers in case you guys are interested. These flowers are also from Amazon and they're about like five, six dollars, I think, really cheap. But um, if you guys are also interested in that, that will be my storefront as well. But this is what they look like. And I'll share with you guys um, what they also look like on the project um, but it does come with another flower it comes with this flower but I'm not using that one for these envelopes today but I'm definitely gonna have this die on hand for any other projects that I work with this collection that I work on with this collection so that's what I'm using today okay sorry about that <laughs> um, anyway what was I doing? Oh yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put two of these together with you guys. Um, I've already die cut all the pieces, so I did use, let me grab the die. I used the envelope and I used the little paper right here. And you guys, this little piece of paper is so adorable, especially if you do Valentine's Day um, stuff. This is actually a really cute die to do a little love notes embellishment with. So I did die cut that and I did die cut one of them out of this yellow paper. I thought I would try the yellow since this lemon has obviously yellow in there. And then I did pink for this one just so that way there's more pink. Kind of a lot of pink papers here, but oh well. <laughs> so um, I die cut these flowers just with scrap pieces. And since it's a collection, they usually just go pretty well with each other. So we'll see towards the end when I start embellishing which ones I want to use. I've also pulled some of these little flower sequins from my stash. Um, I don't remember where I got them from. I think it was AliExpress. <laughs> um, I haven't shopped on there in a while, but I think, oh, is this it? No. I did have two of them, but it looks like I only have one. So I'm going to have to go ahead and grab another one. Um, off camera but I'm going to be digging through this here which is a mix of stuff from my desk and Marshana Designs which I've done a unboxing on so let me go ahead and put these together for the envelope in case you guys do get this die or you have it I'm just going to fold these ends and what I'm going to do is because the paper is going to go in here and I'm not going to shut the envelope, I'm not going to fold the top flap. And that's just so that way this part right here is not like flimsy. So I'm just going to leave that as is. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab my... Okay, so I have my glue here. And I'm just going to use some Barely Art glue. 
which is also if you guys have never had this and you want to grab it this bottle was a valentine's day special bottle so they don't have that but if you guys want to grab it from their website or on amazon i also have that linked down below but i'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the little flaps and just press that down and then do the same thing here just fold the two sides and the bottom and add the glue to these here so as those sit there to dry um, for the papers, what I did was to make it look like it was getting, you know, pulled out from the envelope. I went ahead and I put a little sliver of foam um, adhesive on the top of the paper where it's um, it has the torn edge. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too with this one. Okay, I'm just going to place this on here. And what I did was I went ahead and I put liquid glue at the bottom of the envelope and I suggest using liquid glue for putting the glue on the foam um, one for it to stay longer and two if you use hot glue and you accidentally move it the hot glue is gonna get stuck at the top and you're gonna see it so with this one here I'm just going to angle it going to the left and then I'm gonna hold down at the bottom to make sure that it sticks to the paper and do the same thing to this one so you can use hot glue though if you feel comfortable I did do it for one of them and I didn't like how it looked so so I just ended up turning to my liquid glue and it's really up to you on how high up you want your papers to go I noticed some of mine I have them really high up so it's all up to you but like I said, this die is definitely worth it. You can do a lot of things with it. Um, but since it's not at Tuesday morning, you do have to play, pay a couple more bucks on top of the price that I paid. But I just feel like if you use it, then it's worth it. <laughs> all right. So um, now all it is is up to the embellishing. As you guys can tell from these, I will share with you guys these towards the end. But if you guys can see, they are pretty similar in um, design and that's to make them just, you know, one, easier to embellish and two, so that they coordinate with each other. But they basically have the same things on here. Oh, and I forgot to add, um, I did use some of the floral washi pieces from the paper repack. I didn't do it to these ones because I totally forgot, but I did use little washi postage stamps. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is from the paper repack. And all I did was I cut these apart and used them. So I think for this, I think I already have a pink one here cut, so. Oh. I think I'll do a pink one on that, and then this one, I'm gonna do a blue one. So let me grab my scissors. All right, and I, the okay, so these are washi tape stickers, right? So they have adhesive on or like they're just washy so they're um they're sticky but the backs of them i just kept them on and i didn't take them off and i just used them like they were ephemera because you know i want to try to get the most use out of these products and in all honesty i think it'll be okay as long as the person's not going to try to peel off the washi piece and then mess up the embellishment i mean they can it's up to them but I doubt that you know it'll just do it on its own so there's that one and since I have this on the right side I'll do this on the left and I just put adhesive on the first half of the sticker the only reason why is because I want some of this to um, like kind of flap up and it's not too flat if you guys know me I love dimension on my embellishments so it's always nice to have 
some of your ephemera or something kind of flaring up. Okay, so that's what this is looking like. If you guys need to zoom in, again, pinch your screen. I always say that because I have new people coming in and anytime they don't know, you know, it's always nice to know. All right, so now I'm going to figure out where or which flowers I want to use. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with that because it'll add, you know, more color to the envelopes. And I did add some appliques for like these little, um, not appliques, sorry, I keep calling these appliques. But they're just these little felt sequined hearts. And I got these off Alley a while ago, like a couple years ago. So what I'm going to do is add these to the paper and kind of make it look like there's a heart on the paper. Even though the paper is sideways, it's fine. Um, I think I'll go with a, a blue and a pink. No, I don't like how the pink looks on the yellow. It's too dark of a yellow with that pink. So I think switch it up a little bit. All right. So I'm going to go with that and I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down now. I did use hot glue for this part so I just add some glue and put it inside. And you guys can put anything in here. This is just how I'm doing it. You could do heart stickers, heart, um, heart die cuts. So you can really just, you know, do whatever. But this is what I'm doing for mine. And, you know, before I used to like to do each embellishment, like, very different. But lately I've just been doing a lot of these embellishments the same, just with different colors. So there is that one. Okay, and then I think for this, I'm gonna have the flower go on this side. Hmm. I think I'll put it a little bit lower. So let me go ahead and just add this now. Um, this one I did use uh, some liquid glue, so. I'm going to place that onto here. I don't want, like when things are too straight. So I lowered it down just a little bit so that way it's not lined up with the heart. And then I didn't want to put it too low to where it's too lined up with the stamp. That's just how I design. Um, I've seen other people design differently and it always turns out perfect. It's just everyone has their own way of doing things. So it's really up to how you like your designs to be. Okay, and then this one right here, same thing. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just add some glue. And I've used all three sizes from this um, die set for the flowers, just so that they all have, oops, a, um, they just all have different looks to them. I'm just using this old bone folder to press it down. All right, so as you guys can see, they're coming together pretty quick. Um, okay, and what else did I want? I did actually pull my cardstock stickers. I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna use something from here though, so we'll see. Because um, I might do like something up here and here, depending. On if I have something that I like. Let's see if I can add maybe flower. And I didn't glue anything here so I can even add it inside the envelope. Yeah, that's actually cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off some of the sticky because I noticed that my hot glue actually, before I used to think that when I put this powder stuff 
onto my stickers and use hot glue it doesn't stick it comes off well now it's coming off and um, like when I use it on just the actual sticky part it comes off easily so I've been using the powder again to take off the sticky on wherever I'm gluing but if it's hanging over I'm gonna take that sticky off no matter what okay so I'm just gonna place it where I want it Use a tool to push and hide that glue in there. All right, so now there's that one. I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. Um, there's this dark pink flower. There's not much like smaller light pink ones, so we can try for this one. I think that'll work. So let me go ahead and add some hot glue and this powder stuff oh my gosh <laughs> am I not adding enough okay and I'm just gonna dust this a little bit more okay so and this one I think I'm gonna put on foam maybe let me see. Yeah. So I'm just going to use this foam right here, which you guys honestly have had for so long. <laughs> I can't even tell you how long I've had these. I have not bought, um, we are memory keepers. Oh no. American crafts foam since I lived in San Diego and that has been a while. So these are old, but they are so sticky. So that's why I still use them. They're stickier than some of the new ones I buy, so I'm not too concerned. All right, and then I'm just going to place those there just for a little bit more dimension. Okay, so there's that, and then, hmm. Let me go ahead and add my little flower sequin. Yeah, okay. And that's when I'm going to use hot glue. Alright, and then I did say that I needed another one, didn't I? I think I dropped it, to be honest. So let me go ahead and grab another. I think I'm going to put this one on this side where the flower is just because this one's a little bit of a bigger flower so I'm going to put it on here like that and then the last thing I did believe it or not I did not use any diamond dots and normally I do so for this one I didn't okay so this is um something that I bought and I was so excited to have it and I forgot about it so I'm using it again or I guess now but they are sorry for the glare um little rhinestones that you actually use with the we are memory keepers spin it machine um I bought these at Joann's they are a little pricey I think they're like $20 um this is two packs in there I did use a coupon on them and I think they were 50% off so I got them for a great deal I think I've hauled them. I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, these are the rose gold color. So I don't know if they still have it. But that's what I'm going to use. You can use diamond dots. You can use rhinestones. Whatever you have. I used these because they were smaller than diamond dots. And I loved the little shine that it gave my project. So that's what we're using. And it's like more of this color. Like this um, pinky neutral color. And it has that um, iridescent sorry, that iridescence on there. So the rose gold um, is not really like a rose gold that we would think it is. I'm going to close it before I, because knowing me, I will spill all that. Um, yeah, the rose gold that we usually associate rose gold with. So what I'm going to do is same with diamond dots, but because these are smaller, I got to press way more or less um, on the bottle. And I'm just going to add glue. 
So I added three on the top and then I just scattered around where I wanted the other ones and I just did clusters of three because that's just what I'm comfortable with. And I don't know, whatever, like in design school, that's what we learned was always doing things in threes. Okay, sorry, spacing out here because I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want to put the other set of three. So I think I'm just gonna do three sections. I did four on some of them, um, but if it's too, you know, cramped up, I'm not gonna do three. I mean, I'm not gonna do four because that's just too much. So I definitely will do this. And then I think I could do four on this one actually. Okay. I'm gonna put this back for now. And for the flowers, the middle of the flowers, I did actually, um, for the middle of these flowers, I did actually use the larger ones of these. I think the third size, there's four total, so I used the third one, <laughs> not the largest. But um, I did use that for the center, just so they can coordinate. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab from here. I don't know why, I usually do one at a time. Not sure why I did both. If I work fast enough, it won't dry. Okay, so I went ahead and I did those. I'm gonna dump this back because last thing I need are for these to drop like if you guys can see these are really tiny like really tiny compared to diamond dots so yeah I try my best to keep as many as I can because I love using them but also not to make a mess all right and then the third size here I think is what I use nope I guess I did use the largest one um let me just make sure they're not too big. That's fine. All right. Oops. Put that away. And let's just glue these bad boys on. So I'm just going to hold this down and lift up my edges of my flower. Only reason is because this one's a little bit bigger than the center. So if you try to lift these up and it's not fully adhered, it'll pop up. So this one I can play around with and get that going. I feel like I need another set. I think I'm going to do another set of these. Um, rhinestones down here. I just feel like it's a little empty. Okay, so that, all right guys, so that is my embellishment. Let me go ahead and just share a close-up of these to you guys so you can see it. All right, so here are the two that we made today, or I guess me. And this is what it looks like. They are popped up just a little bit with that foam. And you guys can see the little rhinestones that are on here. They're just in a little cluster. And here's the other one with the lemon paper. And when you want to gift this, you can put um, double-sided tape or you can do pop um, like pop dots or pop squares, pop adhesive, foam adhesive, and put it on the back and then put it on a piece of acetate or whatever your packaging is and they could use it. Um, it's already ready for them. 
so those are the two that we made today and then let me just quickly share with you guys the ones that I created late last night I used again like I said the paper repack right here um, and then I did use some of the paper repack here with the little banner pieces and this sticker actually I don't know if you guys remember but I busted out this sticker book from Hobby Lobby, you guys. I cannot believe she had these at Hobby Lobby, um, but I did use that. I have a bunch of those, so um, I thought I would bust it out. And that's what I use for some of the labels. And as you guys can see, the ones with the tickets, I didn't put labels on them, but everything is basically the same. And this heart was smaller, so it's kind of peeking out from the envelope, or it's fully out, sorry. But there are those, and then the last four. How cute are those flowers? I just love that you don't have to layer these up to make them look really cute. I just like how they are just as a single flower. So you can do a bunch of things with those. Again, if you guys are interested in that die, I'll have it um, linked down below in my um, Amazon storefront. In case you guys want to pick up the die, as you guys can see, here's the other flower with the rounded petals. And this is a medium, I think, and a small um, flower. But how adorable did these turn out? I'm so happy with how these all turned out. Um, I can't wait to make some more embellishments. I'm hoping I have a little bit of time before I have to cook dinner to at least start something. Um, but I will definitely have a parasol project share once it's ready. Um, and so just keep an eye out for that. I'm not entirely sure when that will be, but I will do my best to just post videos here and there, um, of me working with this collection. I will also have more project shares, um, because I am getting another design team, pro um, packaging from Scrap Diva Designs. So lots of things coming up, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope it inspired you to, um, you know, get this die and create with it. If you guys do definitely let me know and tag me if you guys post a video or a picture. So that way I could see it. I love seeing what you guys create, especially getting inspired from my videos. Um, but I hope that you guys have a great day, whatever day it is that y'all are watching this and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.